Hello, this video is going to cover our closed loop hybrid stepper motor driver uh, and we're just going to cover general operation of it as well as explaining the connection points. So if you have your own, you can use your own driver or hook the motor directly up to your control board if your control board has the outputs for that as well, which we will also cover. Okay, so the this pulse driver can only output uh, 1,000 pulses. So on the motors, there's a chart on the motors that says uh, how many pulses are required for uh, one step of movement, just one little one step, just one little small movement. So uh, depending on what speed you want, you may need to change these motor switches, which I'm going to do now. And I'm going to change that. Let's see if I can get the camera to focus on it. Oh, yes, it focused very well to 800. So you can see there on the 800 section, we're going to be changing it to off on one, two, three, and four are on. So let's go ahead and do that. So every time you change these uh, motor switches, the power needs to be restarted to the motor if it's currently plugged in. So let's go ahead and plug this power in to the wall. We'll go ahead and plug in the motor. And we will go ahead and plug in our driver. So once it is powered on, you should have a red and green light on. And then when you go ahead and hit this uh, start stop button, the red light shuts off and the green light stays on. And you have a speed dial here to control the amount of pulses we, we get out of it. You can see it goes up to 999 there. And you can scroll all the way back down to a slow speed. And this is for direction. So you can change the direction here with this other button here. And that is just the general operation of these uh, driver. So for the actual wiring of this uh, driver to run the motor, let me see if I can get a zoom in on this. So on this, you can see we have pull, direction, and enable signals. And we also have a positive 5 volt uh, signal there. So what we're going to do is look at our motor here, and let's go ahead and unplug this, and I'll also get a close up on this. As you can see here, starting from the bottom, we have pull, direction, and enable signals. So there's also a positive and a negative for each one of these. So the plus five volt is on the green wire, which is then going to be a three-way split here, as you can see. And that is going to go to all of the positive on the uh, pull positive, direction positive, and enable positive. And then on the negatives, we have the uh, pull, direction, and enable, which are gonna be the negatives. And so, as you can see here, the blue enable is going to be going to the uh, enable negative there. And so that is how this device works. On some other devices, like our duet board, these get switched around, and rather the duet board uses positive signals on the enable direction and pull signals to be positive rather than negative on our duet board, which I'm going to pull up on the screen right here. So here is the duet board diagram, the main control board we use in our printers, and we're going to look at the expansion pin slots here on the right side. So as you can see here on pin five, we have a uh, step signal, and on pin six, we have the direction signal, and on pin seven, we have the enable signal, uh, just as the same connections are on the motor. So, as I said, the polarity here on the duet board is reversed to what the standalone driver was. So, uh, we're actually going to be connecting the step, direction, and enable signals uh, from this pin to the positive connection side on the board, and that green wire, which was a three to one splitter wire, that's going to be plugged into the negative connection points on the motor. 
and then that other pin will go here to pin two on the ground pin. So uh, it's you need to be careful with your control board or whichever driver you have, if you have your own driver, to make sure that the polarity is all hooked up correctly. And that should be covering pretty much everything for our uh, stepper motor driver as well as how to wire it up yourself if you're looking to do so with your own stepper motor driver.